Did you know that in real life, clowns have eggs? Spook. So when we talk about clowns nowadays, we're rarely thinking of legitimate circus clowns. The clown image has largely been hijacked by the evil clown phenomenon, which wasn't a big thing until the 80s when Stephen King's It popularized it. But evil clowns are a mere footnote on the long history of professional clowning that goes all the way back to ancient Greece. In ancient Greece, plays would often have a rustic fool character, but this character character would be a lowly peasant who would bumble around and make the audience laugh at how dumb he is. The rustic fool character carried over into Roman theater and then to Italian theater where it became the Zanni character in a 16th century style of comedy called Commedia dell'arte. It would often wear a mask like this and it would enact expressive, over-the-top slapstick. <laughs> And when the English adopted this slapstick Zani character, they called it a clown, which is an old English word that means dumb peasant. And you'd see it in Shakespeare plays and as the king's jester. And then in the 18th century, clowns were used to entertain the audience between acts of equestrian shows. And these equestrian shows started adding more animals besides horses and evolving into what we know as the circus. And that's where we get the modern circus clown, which, true to its ancient roots, is an exaggeration slapstick caricature of a homeless person. I mean, think about it. Shoes that are too big, baggy clothes, messy hair, a buffoonish nature, a red nose like someone who's drunk or out in the cold or something. The whole idea of a clown, and remember, clown means peasant, is predicated on the idea that people less fortunate than us are fools and therefore funny. But the modern circus clown, despite its classist roots, has evolved past that. Like when people see an actual circus clown nowadays, they don't sit there thinking, hee hee hee, I'm laughing at poor people. No, the modern clown is a respectable profession, and people train for years to learn the art of clowning, the art of slapstick, the art of making people laugh. And that is the true essence of the modern clown. And this is where the eggs come in, because every clown has a unique makeup design. No two clowns have the same face. So in Great Britain in the 40s, clowns would trademark their makeup designs by having them painted onto chicken eggs. And this carried over to America, and now there are museums of these clown eggs. There are clown registries with thousands of these eggs. And I love it. It's beautiful, it's whimsical, and I'm going to make one right now. Because I have been a clown many times in the past. I've, I've played a clown. I'll put some links to some of that stuff in the description below. But I've never made a clown egg yet. And, well, since this is the month of spookiness after all... <laughs> Look at the egg, now look at me. Now look back at the egg, now look back at me. Now I hope you're not cholerophobic because- ah! Good evening, ladies and germs. It's down to my tickle dungeon with you. I have to apologize for that. The evil clown stock character isn't doing any favors for the true image of clowning. But it's Halloween. Like, people have told me that I look like Bill Skarsgård. I've been an evil clown multiple times on Halloween. And in fact, if you're watching This Is Us Season 2, you might see me in the background of the upcoming Halloween episode as an evil clown extra. And I will no doubt be up to more evil clown shenanigans in the future. But don't you steal my face! because I have it on an egg. Thanks for watching. I'm vlogging about something spooky every weekend in October. I'm trying to get 666 subscribers by Halloween, and I'm only about 50 away, so share this video. Next week, I'm talking about the seance I just went to on Friday the 13th. <laughs>